but uh, there are no excuses for United to start the season. Can you give an explanation then for, for what, what is going on? Yeah. Good. When I give explanation, <laughs> then uh, you will see uh, excuses. So and there are no excuses. Okay, maybe uh, we have a little bit unbalanced left side, uh, but then still uh, we can't make the errors uh, we now making, and uh, we have to do better. And yeah, that's the simple fact. We have to win our games. Wait, are you confident that the players either are listening to you? Or are capable of doing what you want because you keep coming in here and saying we need to do better when making mistakes, and then the next game it doesn't seem to improve and the mistakes keep coming. No. So if it were the same mistakes, yeah, 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 probably you could say. But I have seen a team eh, that was really connected. I have seen a team with a great spirit, eh, and they played in stages of the game, uh, fantastic, and uh, score good goals, twice up, uh, totally in control on the game, and, and then all of a sudden uh, we make yeah, a mistake, um, yeah, an, an error, and yeah, that I know football is a, uh, a game of mistakes, yeah, but of course I, I have to give coaching instructions how we have to deal uh, with this, such occasions and such situations. Uh, but yeah, it happens, and we got punished for it. Clear. Phil, Eric, you, the fans booed you off at the end. Can you understand them for booing you off? Can you blame them for booing you off? And what do you say to them for booing you off? Yes, I can understand. Uh, they can um, expect uh, I'm responsible for this team, for the performance, for the result, uh, together uh, with my squad. And in this moment, we don't get the results, and that they are then disappointed. I can understand, and yeah, we have to do better. Uh, but as I said, also, and um, I have seen a team uh, with a great spirit, and also uh, um, a team, and it uh, was backed by a crowd uh, from the start till the end. And of course, in the end. The fans are disappointed, as we are. We are also very disappointed, but also that has to be fuel. And that is the good thing from this team. Every time uh, they find the energy uh, in every game, every start of the game, there was a team uh, with a lot of energy and with a good motivation to go into the game. Eric, who brought in to do a job here long term, had a very successful season last season, but you know managers are judged by results. Is there any concern? For you about your position, or do you feel you have the confidence of the club hierarchy and the board to get through this situation and get the team back on track? Yeah, last season uh, oh, uh, went brilliant, terrific, uh, more than we could expect. <laughs> but also when we went in this project, we knew uh, that there will be uh, will be coming caps, and in this moment we are a very difficult period, and as everyone is seeing. But yeah, we come out together, and. We are fighting together and we are stick together. Eh? We are behind each other. Eh? That is uh, me, the, uh, the directors, uh, the team, eh? all together. Uh, we will fight. And um, this is not us. Uh, we know we have to do better. And in togetherness, we will come out. Right. Eric, with, with your goalkeeper, if, if you see that um, there's confidence lost in him around the the defence, would you be afraid to, to make a change in that position or is he your number one, you brought him here and he's your number one for the season going forward? We are happy with our goalkeeping group, <laughs> definitely with Andre and Andre, come on, he was in one semi-final Champions League, he was last season, he was in a final Champions League, so he has the capabilities uh, to be uh, to be one of the best goalkeeper in the world, he showed that, and and he will do. Um, we already have seen in in games his great capabilities, also his personality. If he make a mistake, eh, he will bounce back, and I'm sure he will do uh, in the coming games as well. Last question. Eric, uh, you conceded after scoring by Munich twice, um, conceded here twice. What, what do you put that down to, and how do you remedy that? 
th so that's that's a fair point uh, that um, we have to keep uh, and even more than first focus concentration uh, but also then take more control in the game uh, by even more compact and uh, in possession keeping more the ball in such moments after you score a goal or after you concede a goal and you have to take more control, see what the opponent's going to do and then take advantage because <laughs> always uh, when you score a goal opponent will give away more more spaces and uh, clear and when you concede a goal yeah, they will come even more to go for a second so if you know that yeah, then take more control in the game uh, as I just explained. Okay, thank you very much.